on November 10th, the apartment that I moved in caught fire and uh, it is now inhabitable. So all of us were displaced, all the residents that live there, and a lot of us are still displaced, including myself. Since the fire, things have been crazy. It's just kind of just a word to sum it up. And it just kind of shows you that you don't have control over anything. And then dealing with your insurance companies and um, dealing with, I mean, a lot of people dealt with, you know, just the stress of not knowing if your stuff is okay after the fire. Uh, while us residents were pretty much banned from the building, there were homeless people, looters that were able to get in somehow. Many units were broken into, you know, we're hearing about this from the news. And so every night for a month, we're just like, I just hope my stuff is okay. So, you know, I mean, everything you own is in there. There, you know, if you didn't lose it completely to the fire, you lost it to, you know, what happened after. You know, there is the question of, what do you do now? You still have to work, life goes on, right? The fire's in the news for two days and everybody's like, oh God, wow. And then they, they move on. I was, I did have to take off work for a couple weeks to try to figure out what to do. Um, mentally, I probably couldn't have worked anyway, just because of all of everything going on. Um, so, you know, I did go to back to work within the last two weeks, um, and it's just, it's, it's hard. I mean, you're just not mentally where you normally are. But like with renting these days, moving into a new place can, just, like depending on what your rent is, that can cost you five, $6,000 just to move in. This is not, you know, this doesn't include moving your stuff and all the other costs that come along with getting a new place, you know, but it's just like, we were put out kind of unexpectedly, and some of us didn't have five, $6,000 laying around to move into a new place. Like you have to plan for that. It doesn't allow you to plan for what you would normally be able to plan for. And free rent for a year would honestly put me in a place because I did turn 30 this year um, and I wanna own, you know, eventually I want to own a house and having that jump start even like for a year, that is so like, you just don't get that. That doesn't happen, you know? And um, even as I've been planning moving into home ownership one day, like this was never on my radar that I would get an opportunity or possibly got, get an opportunity like this. Like, you know, to, to have a year of no rent to truly get ready to be a homeowner. I mean, that's unreal.